Christy. Hi, I'm Crystal. And I'm Sam. And we are the Tri Jewels. another episode of Jewel Chat. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the different types of love and what love is according to the Bible. And if you guys like this video, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And don't forget to hit the post notification bell so every time we post, you'll be notified. And also comment down below any questions or new topics that you want us to cover for the next Jewel Chat episode. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok so that we'll be notified of any new videos that are coming soon. Let's get on with the video. In this discussion, let's get an overview of the word love. First and foremost, we can divide the word love into two categories, worldly love and godly love. This, the easiest way to distinguish between the two is that worldly love is always about itself, whereas the love of God is always driven by a deep commitment for the other. Worldly love is always self-focused, self-centered, and selfish. People who live in this world often see love as something that benefits themselves. The love of the world values people and things based on their usability. Worldly love causes people in control and manipulate others so that they can meet their needs. Overall, it causes pride, division, and separation among many people. On the other hand, unlike worldly love, God's love is never about oneself. It is always about the other person. What is in their best interest and how we can serve them. God's love always focuses on giving and serving. It is a selfless love that is motivated by a deep commitment to others and to God. Godly love builds connections and deep relationships with others because it is generous and open-handed. Overall, God is the source of all true love. His death on the cross is a symbol of the greatest love that was ever shown and is the true meaning of love. So the first type of love that we see in the scripture is Eros love. Eros love refers to romantic or physical love. It is a word that is often used to express romantic feelings between people who share a deep and emotional connection with one another. Eros love or physical love in and of itself is not impure, but it is a gift from God between husbands and wives so that they may express their love to one another. Though the term Eros does not appear in scripture, there is a marvelous depiction of Eros love in the Bible. We can see this through the story of Hosea and Gomer. Through this relationship, we can see what God intends for those who are spiritually, physically, and romantically bound. In this story, Hosea, who is a prophet, was told by God to marry a woman who embraces prostitution. Every time she cheats and rejects Hosea, Hosea keeps her and provides for her and her children, fathered by other men, even though she does not even know it. Through this relationship, we can see that this is all for the sake of showing God's relation to Israel. Hosea depicts a faithful, loving, husband who continually cares and loves his faithless bride. And this leads us to the greatest love story of the Old Testament, God's love for Israel, his chosen people, his child, and his future bride. Though this may be the case, Eros love can be confused with vulgarity. The world defines Eros love as passion and romantic desire, but the Bible reclaims the true holiness of the word. The Bible defines Eros love as a symbol that is used for emotional and spiritual bonding. Just like Apostle Paul says in Hebrews 13 verse 4, Let marriage be held in honor among all, and let the marriage bed be undefiled, for God will judge the sexually immoral and adulterous. Overall, Eros love is to be celebrated. God deliberately uses the relationship of marriage as an illustration of the relationship He has with His people. The Bible illustrates this love with varying intensity and beauty of the relationship that exists between God and those who believe in it. The second type of love is known as filios. This type of love is usually a bond shared between friends and it can also be seen in our relationships with other Christians. According to the Greek translation of the term, it means dear friend, someone dearly loved in a personal intimate way, a trusted confidant held dear, and a close bond of personal affection. Another term is also platonic type of love. Now, looking into the Bible, Jesus commands us to love one another in a filio type of love. As it says in John 13, verse 35, it says, By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. It also mentions in 1 Peter 1, verse 22, Having purified your souls by obedience to the truth for a sincere brotherly love, love one another earnestly from a pure heart. So this type of love goes beyond mere acquaintances. 
Filial love is a deep level of commitment, respect, consideration, and brotherly or sisterly type of love. This type of love is demonstrated by Jesus in John 15, verse 13 to 15. It says, Jesus says, Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you servants, because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends, for everything that I learned from my Father I have made known to you. So as Christians, it is important for us to uphold one another in this brotherly or sisterly love and to have harmony with each other in the church and also to have a friendship with Jesus Christ. Jesus is God and he is also our friend and wants us to have a relationship with him. This filial type of love is more important for us to maintain that vertical relationship with God and horizontal relationship with people. The third type of love that we see in scripture is called storge love. This love is used to describe familial love. This word describes a type of deep and caring bond that develops naturally between parents, children, husband, wives, and siblings. This type of love can withstand any trials, and it is protective and it is loyal. Many examples of family love are found in scripture, such as the love and protection among Noah and his wives, their sons and daughter-in-laws in Genesis, the love of Jacob for his sons, and the strong love the sisters Martha and Mary in the Gospels had for their brother Lazarus. As seen in Jewish culture, family is a vital part of life. In fact, God charges his people to show love to your family through the Ten Commandments. As it says in Exodus 20 verse 12, On your father and mother, so that you may live long in the land that the Lord your God is giving unto you. When we become followers of Jesus Christ, we enter into the family of God. Our lives are bonded together by something stronger than physical ties, the bonds of the Spirit. We are related by something more powerful than human blood the blood of Jesus Christ. God calls his family to love one another with the deep affection of storge love. So last but not least, agape love is the highest level of love referenced in the Bible. This form of love is everlasting and sacrificial whether or not the giver receives the same level of love in return. The word agape was specifically used to identify the type of love God embodies. So agape love is a love that comes from God. God's love isn't sentimental or just based off of emotions. That's part of his character. God's love comes from an outpouring of who he is. As it states in 1 John 4 verse 8, God is love, which means that he is a source of agape love. His love is undeserved, gracious, and sacrificial. As we see in the demonstration of his love through the death of Jesus Christ on the cross, he died for us because of his love for us. All in all, although loving each other with agape love may seem like an unreachable pinnacle given our human weaknesses, agape love is nonetheless a worthy goal that we should endeavor to send in our words and actions. So we hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Jewel Chat. Like always, we will leave the links down below so that you guys can research this topic on your own time and get to know more about love according to the Bible. And if you guys want to see all the episodes of Jewel Chat, go ahead and click the playlist button on our YouTube banner so that you can watch all the episodes of Jewel Chat. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and hit the post notification bell so that every time we post, you'll be notified. And also in the comments down below, post any type of question that you have pertaining to the Bible and we'll answer it in our next episode. And be on the lookout for a special video that is coming mm -hmm. next week so you don't want to miss out. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye.